Hello and welcome to another episode by CDBTC. Today is April... <laughs> Whatever. It's April. It's the day after uh, oil futures traded at negative price. So that's another amazing and unbelievable thing that has happened. So as I said, it's another unbelievable thing that has happened. Oil traded in negative territory. Uh, because of the expiry date so anyone holding those futures was gonna have to take possession of the actual oil and a lot of these guys are traders and they're financial institutions or they're trading behind the desk so they actually don't have the facilities to store oil so they had to get rid of those contracts and that caused a flash crash for the May expiry dates uh, but the June dates aren't doing that well either. There's, they're also dropping in price. And uh, coronavirus keeps on impacting us. And this is something that's going to continue going forward. So any recoveries that, that we had on the stock prices, they're based on, on the stimulus uh, promoted by the U.S. government. And that's basically smoke smoke and mirrors because actual the actual valuation of companies has to be based on their profits on the goods they sell and a lot of these companies are not selling products right now they are shut down they are locked down and even when they come back the demand is going to be very low and if there's no demand there's no revenue there's no revenue there's no profit and if there's no profit there's no reason for holding the the a stock so I think that we haven't seen the end of the coronavirus impact not because of the coronavirus per se but because of the economic effect the lockdowns are gonna have and I think that we've talked about it in a previous video where where we talked about how the effects of lockdown would would be devastating for the economy more so than the virus itself so at one point I, I, I told you in one of my videos that in my own personal case I, I asked myself okay I have the opportunity to lock myself up and I don't know maybe last three to six months and and then it hit me it didn't matter if I could do it but what about the rest of the people what about the rest of society uh, I don't know 90% of people wouldn't be able to do that and in a month or month and a half those people are going to be hungry they're going to want to have food and they're gonna find it and take it how in however way they need so that's like a worst case scenario but but that's the end game so uh either the either we hide it hide out and society's gonna go to shit or we try to reactivate it slowly and at least reduce the, the, the hit, the brunt of the hit. Um, cryptocurrencies, cryptocurrencies, they're still up for trade. I'm, I'm not actively trading right now, but I'm buying some specific cryptos out there that, that have nice fundamentals and, uh, and Bitcoin, Bitcoin, I think that it might still have one drop left when when the reality hits the stock market. I think it's gonna scare one more time, shake out the, the last of the remaining hollers that are retail. And if you saw the last crash when we when we went from nine thousand to three thousand eight hundred dollars in basically two days, I had a video maybe five days earlier what i said that retail was going to just cash out because they had to if you look at the volume that was traded in that in those uh two days it was incredible it was the most volume since 2017 and someone was buying and the level when we hit 3018 that thing the price just bounced back to 5000 over 5000 and that wasn't retail. That was uh, 
institutional investors. It was huge, huge amounts of Bitcoin were traded that day. And the institutional investors probably filled their bags. And I think that they're gonna wanna fill them up again one more time. And is Bitcoin going gonna go up in price? Yes, definitely, because the economy is destroyed. Companies, company stocks are going to have very difficult times uh, going up in price because the companies are gonna have very difficult times manufacturing, producing, and uh, generating revenue and profit. So these guys, institutional investors, are gonna, are, they still want their money. They want to make money and they're gonna make it in crypto. And what I thought was gonna happen in, in I don't know, two or three years, it was just accelerated by COVID. So I'm thinking that institutional investors are going to be accumulating as much Bitcoin as they can. And then that's, that's the next vehicle for them to, to generate profits for themselves and for their investors. It's not gonna be in stocks, it's gonna be in, in Bitcoin. So if you can get yourself a little bit of Bitcoin, I do so if you can load some money into exchanges and have buy orders set uh do so i don't think that we're gonna go below three thousand two hundred dollars ever ever again um i'm having a hard time thinking that we're gonna go to four thousand dollars ever again uh maybe four thousand five hundred five thousand five hundred dollars i'm i have buy orders down there i I'm just hoping that they get hit. Uh, I'm still nibbling Bitcoin every now and then. Uh, dollar average costing. And I still believe that Bitcoin is going to provide very, very impressive returns in the future. Now, now more, uh, now more safe than ever. Or not safe, but I'm more sure than ever that this is gonna happen because the institutionals are going to want to make money and they need a new vehicle. The stock market is ravished and they're gonna have, they're gonna wanna have a quick buck and they're gonna use Bitcoin to do that, okay? So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, keep on watching, keep on watching. I'm gonna put this one up on YouTube. And if you wanna see all my videos where I talk about COVID, where I anticipated the market crash, where I anticipated how New York was going to be uh, one of the cities with most infections in the United States, uh, sign up on library, look up my channel, hit the link. I'm gonna have, have a link uh, below so that you can hook up on library, sign up. Library is the future. Decentralized video platform, it's streaming so well, so well. I'm so happy I started doing this on library. So my vlog is on library. Uh, I have about 15 videos regarding the, the matter. I started about a month ago. So follow me on library, okay? Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and then go over to library, okay? Have a great day.